Hello everyone. Welcome back. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today I am going to troubleshoot a very common issue of enterprise network. And this is my scenario. As you can see in my scenario, there are some client machines, PC1, 2, 3, 4. And these all client machines are connected together through this centralized switch, switch 1. Then switch 1 is further connected with my gateway device, which is R1. And then R1 is connected with internet. After that, you can see in my LAN, there is a DHCP server for dynamic IP allocation to these client machines. And here is a rogue DHCP server. And you know how to avoid DHCP spoofing attack. To avoid DHCP spoofing attack, you can enable DHCP snooping feature on switch. And in the enterprise network, you will always enable DHCP snooping on your switches, right? So I have also enabled DHCP snooping feature. It is already enabled for VLAN 1. And these all client machines and DHCP server are member of VLAN 1 only. But something happened after enabling dynamic ARP inspection. See, today I am not going to discuss DHCP snooping or ARP inspection, dynamic ARP inspection. I am expecting you already know this. If you need a detailed video on DHCP snooping or dynamic ARP inspection, then let me know in the comment section. Definitely I will make a detailed video on those um, topics like how attack, uh, DHCP spoofing attack can happen, how dynamic ARP attack can happen like that, that is called main in middle attack, how to avoid main in middle attack with the help of dynamic ARP inspection feature. Right. Definitely, if you will request, I will make a detailed video on that. Today, I am assuming you already know DHCP snooping, how attack can happen and how to avoid that attack. And you also know that once we will enable DHCP snooping feature on the switch, DHCP switch is going to maintain a table, right? DHCP snooping database that is generally called DHCP snooping binding table, right? And with the help of that binding table, DHCP snooping binding table, you can inspect our packet, right, to avoid main in middle attack. But something happened after enabling dynamic ARP inspection on my switch. After enabling DIA, LAN users are not able to access internet. Even they are not able to a ping gateway IP address. Why? How to? fix it how to troubleshoot it this is guys mistake a very common mistake right whenever you will enable dhcp snooping or dynamic arp inspection you have to run one extra command on this port because here on your gateway you are going to configure ip address statically let me explain this scenario first after that i will talk about the issue and then i will show you, show you the solution as well no problem let me do one thing here see if this client machine is going to request for IP address, you know how DHCP works. DHCP works on Dora process. This client machine will generate a discover message. Then DHCP server will generate offer message, right? This rogue DHCP server can also generate offer message, right? But here DHCP snooping is already enabled. And after that, all ports will become untrusted. And here I have manually configured this port G1 slash 2 as trusted port. So switch will only allow offer message on this port G1 slash to port offer an acknowledgement message so once discover message will reach to dhcp server dhcp server is going to offer ip address after that client machine will request and then dhcp server is going to send acknowledgement message so with the help of acknowledgement message your switch is going to maintain that binding table right because in the acknowledgement message there will be client mac address client ip address so switch can understand what is the IP address of client, what is the MAC address of client. For example, this client MAC address is A and DHCP server has offer IP address 10.1.1.1, right? So what this switch will do, this switch is going to maintain a binding table. There it will store this information that hey, on 0 slash G0 slash 0 port, a device whose MAC address is A using IP address 10.1.1.1. Also, it can maintain the VLAN information here, right? This particular table is called binding table. But this table will be only maintained for the client machines or for, for the ports, uh, for the devices where IP is assigned through DHCP because this table switch is maintaining this table through DHCP acknowledgement message, correct? Right? And 
ARP inspection or main and middle attack will be avoided through this table only which is going to use this snooping binding table or you can say database table through this binding database switch is going to avoid our main and middle attack right so it is going to use this table in dynamic ARP inspection so tell me one thing if this client machine is use, is is getting this IP address from the DSCP server this client machine is using BMAC address and the IP address is 10.1.1.2 10.3 10.4 I MAC address C and D so these all entry will be there in the binding table like on G 0 slash 1 port B is the MAC address and IP address is 10.1.1.2 you can see this is like IP and MAC binding similarly for this port G 0 slash 2 port it is going to bind which MAC address C MAC address and IP address 10.1.1.3 and for G uh, 0 slash 3 0 slash 3 D MAC address and IP address is 10.1.1.4 so this will be the entry in the DSCP snooping database table correct there will be no any entry for this IP address which is the gateway IP address 10.1.1.254 correct because here we have a statically configured IP address switch has maintained this table built this table through DSCP acknowledgement message right there will be no any acknowledgement message for this IP address the default gateway IP address when you will enable dynamic ARP inspection, your switch is going to inspect ARP request and ARP reply packet with the help of this binding database, this binding a snooping binding database, right? But when client machine is going to generate ARP request message for this IP address, default gateway IP address, or default gateway is going to generate ARP reply message, it will not match through this table, right? Switch cannot find find any entry for the default gateway IP address in there snooping binding database table in that case it is going to drop the ARP reply packet because of that your client machines will not cannot resolve the MAC address of default gateway and you know to send traffic in different subnet default gateway must be configured and default gateway should be reachable devices client machines should be able to resolve MAC address of default gateway so that is not happening over here let me verify you first let me take you to this switch let me access my switch here and on the switch if i will show you so ip dhcp snooping so you can see dhcp snooping feature is enabled here dhcp snooping feature is enabled and g1 slash 2 is trusted port only g1 slash 2 is the trusted port rest all the ports are untrusted right so rogue dhcp server is in untrusted port it means let me show you the binding table as well so ip dhcp snooping and binding in the binding table you can see the information right the mac address of client the ip address of client if client machines are going to request for ip address then switch will update their entry with the help of new acknowledgement message ip dhcp let me show you ip dhcp so let me see this client machine ip address is what you can see this client machine is using this ip 10.1.1.1 so ip all and here is the mac address of this client machine and if you will check the switch binding table go to switch and see 10.1.1.1 entry for 10.1.1.1 10.1.1.1 10.1.1.1 is connected on which port is connected on is connected on g0 slash 0 port okay so here you can see 10.1.1.1 interface is g0 slash 0 vlan id is 1 type dhcp snooping right least time here you can see and here you can see the mac address right so now with the help of this table very easily switch can inspect the arp request arp packet you can say either it is arp request or arp reply but there is no any entry for default gateway right client 1 pc1 ip address is 10.1 similarly pc2 can also get ip address or already using ip address dora process is done here you can see ip address is 10.2 great pc3 if i will take you to pc3 say ip dhcp this machine will be using ip 10.3 and if i will show you if i will show you the connectivity between these client machines let me take you to pc1 let me ping to pc2 ping 10.1.1.2 and you can see ping is working if you will show you the arp table so arp 
you can see the MAC address of 10.2 is uh, available in the ARP table and so IP all. You can see the gateway IP address. Gateway IP address is 10.1.1.254, right? But can I ping to the default gateway? Ping uh, 10.1.1.254. See, ping is not working. Why ping is not working? Let me show you. Ping is not working because my switch is inspecting ARP request. Here you can see even the log message. What it's saying? Dynamic ARP inspection. DSCP is to ping deny. Invalid ARP uh, on G1 slash 1. G1 slash 1 interface is connected with the gateway right so switch is in inspecting our packet on g1 slash one interface as well and it is not finding any entry in their database in their dscp snooping database so here if you will disable arp inspection let me take you to switch number one and for a moment i am going to disable arp inspection so ip arp inspection and uh, for VLAN 1 here you can see inspection is enabled on all the interfaces for VLAN 1 inspection and for VLAN 1 it is enabled right and here you, even you can check based on interface so IP ARP inspection interface G1 slash 1 and here you can see this port is untrusted port all the ports are untrusted port for ARP inspection right switch is going to inspect our packet on all the ports but here you know only you are the network engineer of this company you know that here manually we have configured the IP address which will not have any entry in their snooping binding database right how switch can inspect the ARP request message on this interface not possible and make sure this port is your trusted port make sure no one can send the ARP request message over here only trusted not unauthorized user can or attacker can send ARP request message you have to protect this port if you know this that this port is the genuine port here we are going to receive the genuine uh, ARP reply packet or request packet only no one is going to spoof their address then you can configure this port as trusted port for dynamic ARP inspection not for DHCP snooping for DHCP snooping G1 slash 2 is the uh, trusted port and for dynamic ARP inspection the port where your gateway is connected where you have configured the static IP address will be trusted port otherwise if I will disable ARP inspection dynamic ARP inspection from the switch then ping will start working let me show you say IP ARP IP ARP inspection for vlan 1 this is the command to enable dynamic arp inspection let me say no to this and now now if you are going to ping from the gateway device go to pc number one again if you will ping then you can see ping has started working right dhcp snooping is exactly working same right there is no any change in dhcp snooping dynamic arp is for main in middle attack dhcp snooping is for dhcp spoofing attack right here on switch number one now you can see so ip dhcp snooping and binding here you can see the binding table right is it still there but dynamic arp inspection is disabled this time so ip arp inspection for vlan one you can see it is disabled right it is disabled and uh, inspection then interface g1 slash one here you can see this port is still untrusted but now if you have disabled the dynamic ARP inspection there is chance of main in middle attack right anyone can spoof their address if you need a detailed video on main in middle attack just let me know in the comment section if you don't know how dynamic ARP inspection is protecting or avoiding main in middle attack let me know in the comment section I will make a detailed video on that today I am talking about a common mistake of network engineer in enterprise network commonly we forget to configure you will like whenever you will configure a static IP address on any device at that time you have to configure that port is as untrusted untrust, port if you will forget it it can cause the issue in your network like here you can see client machines are not able to access internet not able to ping gateway right now client machines are able to access internet even able to ping internet let me ping 100.1.1 public IP address you can see it is working reachable but as soon as I will enable 
dynamic ARP inspection feature on the switch. IP ARP inspection for VLAN 1. Ping will not work. Ping will not work. You can see now you are still you are able to ping because MAC address is already there in the MAC in the ARP table. Let me clear it. Clear ARP and and let me show you the ARP now. So IP ARP. Sorry, so ARP. Now you can see ARP table is empty. Now let me try to ping. Ping. Now you can see ping is not working. Right? Because switch is not able to for on the switch G1 slash 1, which is connected with order number 1, is untrusted port. And there is no any if the port is untrusted, then source MAC address and source IP address must match uh, with the DHCP snooping binding database table right but that is not happening over here that's why uh, pc is not able to resolve mac address if i will show you the app you can see still app table is empty what is the solution profile definitely you will not disable the dynamic arp inspection right so what you will do here and here you can see the log message as well invalid arp on g0 slash sorry g1 slash 1 in vlan 1 right because you can see this is the ip address here you can see the ip address is this one 10.1.1.254 and here is the mac address and there is no any entry for this particular ip address in spoofing dscp snooping binding table so ip dscp snooping and binding you can see no entry for 10.1.254 so what i will do here i will configure this port as trusted port manually for dynamic arp inspection interface g1 slash 1 and here i am going to say ip arp inspection and trust that's it now switch is not going to inspect arp packet on g1 slash 1 and let me take you to the client machine let me try to ping this ip address and now you can see ping started working right so switch will inspect our packet on all the interfaces except g1 slash 1 and you can verify that as well from here so ip our inspection inspection and then we can say interface g1 slash 1 now this time you can see this port is trusted port you can also configure the rate right right now it is not configured so guys this was a very common mistake or you can say troubleshooting of enterprise because in the enterprises in the hospital network in banks every time you will enable these security features on your switches hope this video was helpful for you if yes if you have learned something new from this video then please hit on like button and share your feedback if you don't want to write long sentence in the comment section just type helpful if you will type helpful it is going to motivate me right uh, right i will get to know and feedback is very important so i will request everyone to share your feedback how was the class if any improvement is required then also you can let me know i will definitely try to improve that hope this video was helpful for you and it's clear to you we'll meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye that's all for today guys and one more thing if you are new on pm networking youtube channel if you have not subscribed this channel till now then guys please subscribe this channel and uh, if you want you can enable bell icon as well so that you will get notification whenever i will upload any video and if you want to master complete enterprise network from the scratch then check my ccna plus ccnp combo course once as well Thank you so much now, that's all.